So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a chocolate fudge Betty Crocker box cake in a Ninja Air Fryer. Pretty easy, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. But just want to let you guys know that I haven't been posting for about a month because I've been very, very busy. So yeah, let's just get started with the dry ingredients that I'm going to be putting in the bowl, as you can see. Then the wet ingredients, including the water, eggs, and oil. First, I did the water. So you can see that I'm putting a thumbs up and you can tell in the bowl then i'm going to be putting the vegetable oil I'll show you guys with the measuring cup just because it was a bit easier for me so yeah just like that nice okay after that the oil is done then i'm going to put in the eggs but this clip is not in here, but you can tell that there's three eggs in there. But I didn't get the clip in the video because it was just very hectic. Like, the camera just kept moving because I was trying to crack the egg. But yeah, I got it in there. Just follow the same directions as you would if you were baking this cake in an oven. But I'm just going to mix those ingredients together and do it very well. It's just sped up, so it looks a bit weird. But yeah, I definitely mix it together. And for this next step, I'm just going to add white chocolate chips, as you can see, but it won't affect how your cake comes out. Because even though I did put white chocolate chips, it didn't really work, I guess. I guess I didn't put them on, well, in the cake batter at the right time, so it didn't really come out right. But you'll see that at the end, the cake was still super good. But never mind that, just keep watching until the end so you can see how this cake turned out. So after that... I prep the air fryer with some Pam, the olive oil. After that, I just make sure I get the whole pan covered so this cake does not, I repeat, does not get stuck to the pan. Um. So yeah, then I'm just showing you guys the box, I guess. And then I have the batter that I'm just putting straight into the air fryer. Very simple. Like I said, just make the cake as if you were baking it in a oven, not air fryer. Trying to get everything, at least not really everything, but as much as I can out of the bowl. And in this clip, I'm just going to be showing you how much time I use and temperature and things like that. So first I turn on the air fryer. Then I choose the amount of time. So it's different depending on your cake, but my cake um, recommended at least I think 30 to 35 minutes so I put it in the middle which was 33 minutes and then the temperature you're gonna see in this clip right here I chose 325 I was just making sure it was the right um, temperature so I was kind of delaying there but 325 like I said before it's different depending on your cake so make sure you watch out for that um, but yeah, I'm just going to place it in there, like normal, and I'm going to zoom in for you guys and show you. So you're going to click air fry and not reheat or anything like that. You want to click air fry. And I was just double checking my time. And now, we're going to get bacon. Thumbs up. <laughs> in this next clip, this is the first check-in of the cake. So you guys are going to be able to see that. And you can tell that it's baking, but it's not completely done, as you can see. Now, let's just wait a second. And for our next check-in at 13 minutes and 15 seconds, we're going to pause it. Rem remember to pause your air fryer before you check the cake. Just a little disclaimer. And you can see here that the cake is almost done, but you can also see, like, a darker part at the top. You could either cut that off or do what I did, which was ice around it. Not really around it, but on top of it, so it's not really visible. But here's the last check-in, which is the end. And you can see that the cake is done in a few seconds. Yeah, there you go. It's done. I was also checking with a fork to make sure it was done. I'm pretty sure you guys know that trick. 
where if you chuck your cake and there's still like batter on this fork then it's not done but if there isn't any batter then you're good so i was still doing that trick i just didn't show it on camera but here is the cake that came right out and it was so smooth like i put the pam and it didn't even get stuck one small bit the only reason i was talking about the white chocolate chips a little bit was because they kind of came out during the baking process but it's still fine the cake st still came out very good but here you see me icing the cake which was super easy to my surprise i also sped this part up but usually when i bake a cake in the oven the crumbs get into the um icing but this didn't happen here because like the outer layer of the cake was a bit um crispier i guess you could say um but yeah and, and it wasn't bad at all like it, you couldn't even tell that this cake was made in an air fryer in my opinion i would definitely recommend this it was so good you guys will see me cut a piece also in a few clips after this, but this is just me icing it. Sorry if it bothers you that the cake is kind of uh, messy, but not the cake, the plates. But it'll cl get cleaned up, so I hope that doesn't bother you guys too much. And I tried to do a transition, wasn't good at all. Um, but anyway, here's the cut I was talking about. Pretty nice right here. It was a pretty big piece. It wasn't mine. It was my stepdad. So let's just see it. Like I said before, like it was so good. Like it was probably one of the best cakes I've made. Well, box cake. I haven't made a cake from scratch yet, but that's gonna be a future video. Sorry about the background noise again. But look at that cake. So good. Doesn't look underbaked i guess you could say at all it's really good and then just to top it off i chose to get some ice cream vanilla ice cream haagen -Dazs. pretty good yum it was literally filled all the way to the top sorry i'm like hitting around the mic and it's super sensitive but yeah you're gonna see me try to skip that out it's kind of hard but i somehow did it so i take the spoon here and just like try to like scoop around it just so it can come out cleanly it was like a big chunk of ice cream yeah it was kind of hard i was kind of worried that the ice cream was gonna fling everywhere but it ended up not so that was good but that's that try to show you guys there it was super good i definitely recommend like i said before this was such a good in front video to make <laughs>